If you fall in love itself, you become vulnerable to somebody. Without becoming vulnerable, there is no love affair. You have to fall. When you fall, somebody may raise you or somebody may walk over you. But the thing is, the experience of your life is beautiful because you fell, not because they raised you, not because they walked over you, because you could actually have the sense of abandoning you to fall. That was the beauty of your love affair, not what they gave you, what they did to you, this no. The beauty was you sat alone and you think you really love this person so much you're willing to die. That was the most beautiful moment. Not the moment they gave you a big gift, not the moment they gave you a diamond ring, not the moment they said this and that about you, no. You just sat here and you're willing to die. That was the moment. Not just a doormat, you're willing to be the dust on their feet. I am not saying you should be like that. I am saying, where love transformed itself into devotion, if you fall in love itself, you become very vulnerable. But there are still some shreds of sanity in love affairs that you can recover. But if you become a devotee, there is no sanity left and you cannot recover. So before you trade such a land, you must see whether you offer it or not. What are your goals first of all? If your goal is to make a life, a cautioned, a very measured love affair is good. <laughs> but your thing is, you want to dissolve into the process of life, you don't want to have a good life, you're not planning to have a good life, you just want to become an explosion of life, you don't care what you get and what you don't get, then you become a devotee. A devotee means, a devotion means, it's your intention to dissolve into your object of devotion.